Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have some pen mail to unbox and I was going to do it on Instagram but I thought, hey why not do it here. Um, I will probably also put this on Instagram. But, um, yeah. So it's from Pensachi and um, yeah. It's a pilot pen. Um, let's just open this little. Oh, we love to be Instagrammed. Some cute little washi tape. Um, so I ordered this on my birthday um, as a treat. So I ordered it on the second of May. Um, but they were having they were having a like sale event, and they were like they were on holiday until the sixth of May. I think it was. Oh, so it comes with these cute little thank you and thank you for your kindness. So that must be the Japanese. I'm going to keep those because it would be really nice to um, to learn that. So it came wrapped in that bubble wrap, but then was just in a um, was just like in a like plastic sleeve. Um, it came via DPD, uh, not DPD. Sorry, it came via DHL. Um, and I haven't been charged any customs yet. I don't know if DHL might be one of the companies that bills you after. We'll have to see. Okay. So, here we go. So, it is a Pilot Custom 823 in the amber colour with a fine nib. Ooh, it is weighty, guys, it is weighty. <laughs> um, let's take these off. So, there you go, so you've got the custom 823. Pilot made in Japan. So I'm sure lots of you um, know full well what a Pilot Custom G3, H, H23 is, but for those of you that don't, it is a vacuum fill fan pen. So if I unscrew, I don't know how far I have to unscrew it before you can pull it. Let's see. Ah, oh, there we go, yeah. So, um, it has this plunger rod, um, and yeah. You sort of create a seal. You can actually like lock it shut so that the ink doesn't leak. Um, it has a gold nib. It's really pretty. Um, and of course it is a Japanese fine, so it is incredibly fine. Like it is a, a needle point nib almost. And yeah, I wanted the um, the amber colour because I just thought it was a little bit different. The smoke, I just felt like, well, you know, it's just grey. Whereas to me, like the amber is a kind of almost like a pretty neutral. So let's ink this baby up. I've never used a vacuum fill before, so if I get this wrong... <laughs> um, you know, it's it's quite likely. Uh, you do get this information sheet that just show you how to do it. And I have watched videos on YouTube of how to do this as well, so that I can um, so that I can uh, figure it out. Um, so yeah, the Type P fountain pen has a, a built-in ink pump ink pump mechanism. Um, best results can only be reached by using 70 ml bottles of pilot ink. Um, <laughs> after making sure that the cap is firmly tightened, turn the 70 ml ink bottle upside down, then set the bottle back upright. Okay, it's because it's got one of those adapter things in it. Um, Remove the cap from the pen, keeping the nib pointed upwards. Carefully loosen the knob at the tail of the pen. Pull the knob out as far as it will go and point the nib downwards and immerse the pen up to its neck in ink. 
the optimal position is when the pen is immersed into the plastic adapter as far as it will go without touching the bottom of the bottle. Um, <laughs> okay, hold the pen upright and push the knob back in. A vacuum will be created and ink will be sucked into the pen as the knob is, is returned. After the pen has been filled with ink, fasten the nib by turning it clockwise. Take the pen out of the ink bottle and point the nib upwards to remove any drops of ink of a soft cloth or tissue. Um, so it does say, um, um, like, keep it away from excessive heat and blah, blah, blah. Um, to clean, you have to flush several times with cool water. Um, and it does say, do not um, try to repair yourself. Though I do know that people do take it apart. Um, Yeah, so let's give this a go. <laughs> Why do I feel so scared? It's just a pen. <laughs> so the ink that I'm going to fill this with is Noodler's Golden Brown, which I've had for a long time and I haven't actually really used because um, in, yeah, just in the pens that I was using in, it, it wasn't really impressing me very much. Um, so I'm going to try it in this one and we shall see whether I like it or not. I am just going to get my fountain pen rag out just so that I've got it. Um, and let's give this a go. So, I feel like it's so pretty. I kind of, the nib is just so very pretty. <laughs> Um, so, untighten. Okay. I'm just going to take the lid off now. Noodler's ink bottles are always very full, so... I kind of need to be able to see what you can see. Okay, so I'm going to pull the, nib, the stopper out as far as it will go. Upend and immerse to the neck. There we go. Ooh. Hmm. This is just. Oh, there we go. <gasps> ah, okay. So, like I say, I've never used a vacuum fill before. So, while you are pushing it down, it looks like nothing's happening. <laughs> but actually, it is. Um, it does it right at the last second. Sort of, it just just floods in right at the last second. So that is it. Sort of most of the way filled. I think you can see there. There you go. So there is a tip to get it to fill the rest of the way so that it fills completely. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head exactly how to do it. I know that you have to pull the lever out again, but I can't remember how far you do it and whether you push some more of the ink out, I can't remember. So um, let's just do some some nice pretties, show it off. One of my favorite things about fountain pens is when, you, when you've inked up the pen and the residual ink sits in the scrolling on the nib. I just find it really pretty to see how it fills it in. So I am just going to pop the nib on, uh, pop the lid on while I do that research. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, guys. So I have watched the video. Um, I was looking, I was watching um, Alicia from Adventure Denali's video. Who, um, yeah, I I love Alicia's videos. If you haven't, um, I'm sure most people have, but. If you haven't watched her videos and you want some pen inspiration, I highly recommend it. So she just um, said that you just pull the plunger down and then you push it. Oh, yeah. She said there is like some resistance when you do this and I can definitely feel it. So you push the ink sort of so you remove the air bubble. And then holding it. <laughs> upend into the ink again so that it's up to the neck 
and then push down. Oh yeah, it worked. Oh wow, okay. Sorry, <laughs> I've definitely got some ink splatter. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it is now completely full. <gasps> Yay, look at that. That's so cool. So then I'm just going to tighten and let's just wipe off some excess. I'm just going to show you that nib again just because it's so pretty. It's very pretty. Okay, let's cap this ink. And let's try, <laughs> but here we go, right, if I wipe it, you'll be able to see yeah. all the ink splatter, never mind. I will learn as I go, I'm sure. Let's do a writing sample. So, uh, this is the, this is just a Rodea notepad. Um, it's in like the off-white, the cream. Um, I've had it so long that I actually do not know what what it is 90 gsm 41 pound yeah so let's try this pen So I hear a lot of people talking about this nib being sort of buttery smooth. Obviously I'm not using a Pilot ink in this. I actually don't have a Pilot ink. Um, and I didn't buy the pen, I bought the pen from Japan obviously. I didn't buy it in that set that also comes with a Pilot ink. So, um, I, you know, I do, I do really want to get some Pilot inks so that I can try it with the Pilot ink, but yeah. The, um, yeah, the fine nib is just about right, I would say. I didn't want to go any finer than that um, because I just felt like it would be a little bit too fine with it being a Japanese nib. Um, but yeah, it's just about right. And yeah, it's smooth. There's no, there's no scratch. It's not like you're writing on like, I don't know, like glass or something, but um, there is some feedback, but it's a comfortable writer. Um, first impressions, definitely um, a really comfortable pen. Um, that was generally like the thing that I was thinking as I was writing with this. Um, yeah, it really does feel like I could sit and write for hours with this pen. And obviously like the, the capacity really does support being able to do that. Um, it's weighty, but it's not too weighty. Like it's just enough weight to feel comfortable um it sits really nicely in my hand um i think maybe if if you had larger hands if you were um a larger handed person like you know i have i would say probably average female hands i don't have particularly petite hands but i also don't have large female hands i just have kind of normal female hands um and i feel like it it sits naturally i feel like posted that's yeah that feels a little bit too heavy so I don't think that I would use it posted. Unposted it is just, just right. It sits just in the right place. There's just the right amount of weight. Um, yeah, I just, it feels very comfortable. The nib, I would say, um, I've heard people describing it as like buttery smooth. Like it's always the smoothest writing experience. I wouldn't say that. I would say there is definitely some feedback there. 
Um, you know, this paper is very smooth and there was some feedback as I was writing. It wasn't like just completely smooth, but sometimes you do need some feedback. So equally, you know, yeah, I mean, maybe, um, like I'm, I'm not using a pilot ink in this because I don't own any pilot ink. I do have some on my wish list though. So hopefully if I were to get some pilot ink, I could also test that, um, if you buy this like in the UK, I believe, like if you actually buy it from a UK distributor, then I believe it does come with a bottle of ink, same for the US. Um, but because I bought this directly from Japan, um, I just got the pen because to be honest, like, a, a bottle of blue ink is really not going to get used by me. Um, so I'm just trying to pull this label off. And actually that's left some sticky residue, which is annoying. I'm going to have to try and get that off. But, um, yeah, I would say definitely first impressions. I really like it. Um, and I'm quite surprised, actually, because I'm not going to lie, like, the traditional, like, cigar-shaped pen is not something that I normally gravitate towards. Like, I gravitate towards typically, like, squared-off um, finials. And, yeah, it's just not something that um, I would normally reach for I don't think is like a it's not something that I would look at in a shop and think oh yes a traditional shaped um pen but you know what I like it um yeah you know, I've just realized when I was doing that writing sample I didn't have this open and um so if you don't know the vacuum fill system um you know when you hear about pens leaking on airplanes and things it's usually because of this sort of system where it's it's relying on air pressure um so the pilot comes with like an extra o-ring at the top so that that doesn't happen so essentially when you've got it closed like this the actual ink chamber is closed off to the feed so if you do want to sit and write you are actually supposed to crack it open a little bit so that the ink can flow um so let's just... Okay guys, I hope you can see that. Because now I get it. <laughs> what I was saying before about oh you know there's a bit of feedback you know oh it's not you know so it's not a particularly like wet writer but It is very, very smooth. Um, yeah. So, and then um, if you want to just seal up, you just twizzle the end again. And um, yeah, so you can still write with it closed, but obviously it's not drawing in. Um, any like fresh ink. So, um, yeah, I am happy with that. I am, um, I feel like that's money well spent. Um, so I, um, yeah, I, I, do you know, I am, I, I am so surprised by how much I like this pen. Um, a little bit of a confession, really. The reason that I wanted one of these is because I heard that it is Neil Gaiman's favorite fountain pen like his like workhorse fountain pen I am a big Neil Gaiman fan and yeah when I heard that he like this is his like workhorse fountain pen I was like do you know what I really want to try one of those and Pensachi had a discount on I thought yeah you know what it's my birthday I'll treat myself and um 
I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting to feel so, I don't know, just so kind of enamoured, like, it's a traditional cigar shaped pen, it's in brown, which is not, you know, I mean, the brown appeals to me more than the smoke does, because I do tend to go for kind of like neutral tones with like my planners and my products and things, but yeah, I didn't really think that there was like much that was special about it, to be honest. And I like fountain pens to be special, but I get it. I get why this is so popular because it just sits so well in the hand, so smooth, huge capacity. Yeah, I can completely understand why this has got such a cult following. So if you have um, been thinking of getting one of these, um, I would definitely consider it. Um, but like I say, I would look for, to see if you can get some discounts, especially like if you can get it from abroad. It was significantly cheaper for me to get this um, sent from Japan than if I had bought it in the UK. Um, and that was probably like one of the biggest deciding factors for me. Like I didn't want to spend the like UK retail for a pen that I didn't think was that special. Though, to be honest, not like now, knowing that, you know, it is super smooth, um, I think I probably would actually. <laughs> but like I say, if you can get a discount, that's, you know, that's a better thing, obviously. So, um, this was kind of a really short video and probably not entirely helpful because, you know, it's just a first impressions, but Hopefully you will see me using this as time goes on and um, yeah, and I can give you like an update on how I'm getting on with it. But yeah, so far I am really impressed. Just remember to unlock the barrel, so to speak, unlock that airlock. Um, and yeah, it's, it's pretty impressive for what is a very understated looking pen. <laughs> So guys, I hope that you found this video helpful or that you enjoyed it and that you were probably watching, thinking, Georgina, you've not twisted the end, you've not un you've not twisted the end, you need to twist the end before you write. Um, I'm sure you probably were, um, but I got there in the end, guys. Right, so thank you very much for watching. I will hopefully see you soon in another video. If you did enjoy this video, please do like and subscribe. Um, there should very shortly be a um, ink collection, swatching collection um, video hitting my channel soon. And um, yeah, if you like fountain pens, planning, journaling, that sort of thing, then stick around. Um, but thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.